Hey YouTube, AC Hacking Nerd here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Ocarina Code Manager. Uh, Ocarina Code Manager allows you to have codes on just about any game. Uh, I'm going to be showing you um, Animal Crossing City Folk. First of all, you're going to need to enter the game ID, which I'll do here pretty soon. Okay. The game ID for Animal Crossing City Folk is R U U E 0 1. So you can enter that in. And after that, enter the game name, Animal Crossing City Folk. Then go ahead and click on store uh, ID and OK. Uh, now you need to enter some codes. And to find these codes, you can just go to the internet and type in codes here. Um, at first, I didn't find any codes. I found just a hinting website. So just sit through this. It's pretty unbearable, is it not? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this is a website that didn't have any codes on it. All it had was hints and stuff. By the way, the uh, download link for Ocarina will be in the, in the description, just as always. Okay, I suggest putting Gecko in there, because a lot of times you get hints. And on this website I've been here before uh, yeah you can just look through all these and see if there's any codes you like I'm just gonna scroll really fast through all these because they're all like closet mods and pocket mods and whatnot so I don't really want to scroll through all of them There, I'm showing you that they're closet. Down here are actually some more codes. Uh, if you ask me, it's kind of misplaced because they would have, to me, they would have all of the closet and pocket ones to towards bottom. Anywho, what you want to do is, if once you find a code, just copy the uh, title of it. Back on Ocarina click on uh, add new code and just paste in the little box there what you just copied click on OK and click on that now well first go get the address of the code the code itself and copy and copy that and click on that and paste it in this box here this one right here And there's down right there, there's any comments or things you want to write in there just to help you remember some different details. Uh, once you're done, just click on uh, Store Modifications there. And Data Stored. Okay. Uh, then you have a code. Uh, I'm going to put a lot of different codes on here, maybe five or six, and I'll get back to you once I do that. Alright, well I have uh, six codes here, I think it is. Yeah, it's six. Um, and I just did the exact same thing as I showed. I just added all these codes. And um, let's see where I go. Okay. To activate these codes and make them available for you to actually use in Animal Crossing, you have to check them off. See, I checked some off there. And I'm just choosing random ones. And only the ones that you check off will you actually be able to use in-game. Once you're done, um, ju I suggest saving it for, um, you know, uses in the future. 
Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and save that to somewhere where you'll remember where it is. And export. Of course, I didn't have my SD card in, so I'm going to do that quick. Completely forgot. Okay, well, I think now I have it in. Um, I'm actually recording the sound later on. And uh, yeah, just export down on the bottom and search for the SD card. there it is click on the SD card and click on store and okay um, that's it uh, then you will just have to go onto gecko on the homer browser not the homer browser sorry the homer channel and uh, just click on launch game and that will activate the codes now I'm going to show you in case you want to add an extra code or deactivate or activate a new one how to open it up because you saved it before just open up that and click on file and open file and open and find that and there you go that's it. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> can't, can't talk today. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more tips on how to hack Animal Crossing.